there. Do you wish to um, <clears throat> record sound coming out of your computer speaker instead of out of your uh, microphone? So like you want to record sounds coming out of a website that records the exact same sound that's output out of your computer, so coming out of your speakers without having to take a microphone and sticking it right next to the speaker and doing all that and, or having another uh, audio line go from your speaker line to your line in which is your speaker is the green port usually and then the line in is the blue port usually <clears throat> that's one way to do it but I found an easier way first off you're going to need the audio city um, recorder so you just need to go to audiocity.com and click download at the top uh, it's free so it's just like a recording system um, what you do is you go into it and you start the program here and you uh, need to set it up so that it works so you need to go to preferences and excuse me um your device you need to set your device to your what your sound you know your sound card i have two sound cards in mind but my main one's the sound max digital audio so you, s you choose yours and then recording uh, you change choose the same thing as well uh... see i also have my yeah, camera which i'm recording with right now for the sound my other sound card and my sound max digital audio you need to choose that too and then hit ok now once you're done with that you need to go over here and i believe it will be f set to phone and i don't think you want it set to phone so what you do is you go to wave out mix and that is your sound output so let's say well i have the uh, my new theme for my startup is this sound to this key gen i was using here we'll start it and you can hear it in there now watch when i click record and so now you can see it's recording my sound. Let that go for a little bit there. And we'll close that and we'll hit stop. Now we'll go back to the beginning and click play. What I recorded. And that's how you do that. And then you can save it. Um, well, we'll save the project. We'll call it code. I don't want to save it there. I'll save it in my document. Records. Blah. And now we can also I can you can export it as an MP3 file. What you can save it as. But what you'll need is some sort of um. What's it called here? I got it in here. No. Um. It's in my hard drive. The lame L A M E M lame. I don't know. MP3 encoder file. And you should have this lame underscore enc dot dll. You can uh, search for it, or I've seen other people's videos who've had it. So you need that to export these as that, and I'll call it blah, and I'll title it yay, and we'll just hit that. Now it's exporting it as an MP3. Um, and now we'll minimize that, and we'll go to my music. Where did I save that? I don't even know where I saved that to. I think I saved it in my music somewhere. Music, 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 music. Aha! Did I? Or did I not? Ah, yes I did. It'll open with Winamp since I don't want to do that right now. We'll open it with 
real. Hopefully. And then you'll be able to play it as an MP3, and then you can put it on your iPod or your MP3 player, of course. I don't have an iPod, but see, now I got real player. And now I'll play it. Oh yeah, there's a ship. Well, there you go. Have fun with it.